Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first video of the Adobe Muse Quick Start Guide. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the software, I want to go over a brief introduction to the user interface, allowing you to get familiar with the software and be able to follow along with the series a little bit better. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet and just go over the main screens. To start off, go ahead and open the software from Creative Cloud. Once it's open, just go to the file menu and press create new video. New video? What am I talking about? New website. Press OK and don't worry about the settings for now as I'm going to be going over those in a later video. Once you're in there, you'll be shown your planning screen. From here you can access the different pages of your website and create new ones from here. For example, I could create a new page quite simply by just pressing the little, uh, little plus icon next to home and just giving it a name. You can also access the design view of each page by double clicking on it which will give you a graphical view of what your website will look like. From here you can use your tools on the left hand side to create objects whether that is text or shapes such as rectangles, select them or even adjust their settings in the menu above. For example, if I create a box and draw it onto my scene, onto my scene to place it, I'll be able to access the settings for it above such as fill colour, links, pinning and more. I'll be going over these in a little bit more detail later on. Next up you have your jump menu in the top right hand corner which will allow you to quickly jump to different views such as plan, design or even preview mode which will show you how the website looks inside of the browser. For more previewing options make sure you check out the file menu as there is a few bits in there such as view page and browser which will open the website up in your default browser. For me that's Google Chrome. This will give you a better view and insight into how the the end user will actually see your website. Lastly, you have a few bits and bobs on the right hand side that you can use to create content for your website, such as widgets for things like menus, CC libraries for importing commonly used images and more. By default, they should be in a, con uh, in a collapsed mode, which won't let you see the different options available to you. It's set up in this way to save screen space and give you a better design experience. If you want to access one of the options, just go ahead and click it. Having said that, using Adobe Muse is incredibly simple to create things like menus by using one of their pre-made widgets and adjusting the settings to get the look and style you're after. Lastly, you also have your layers panel which will let you see the different layers on your website and reorder them for the correct position. It's also great if you want to create a specific object or even delete it. Anyway, that is pretty much everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, we'll be getting the process of creating our first website, planning the pages and some of the associated settings. Don't forget to share the video, smack that like button, and as always, keep on creating. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.